In this video, we will be explaining how shape memory alloys work, where they are used, and why it is important to use them in structures in coastal British Columbia. This project is presented by Curtis Fedema, David Batemps, Diana Yanchak, Grace Tuck, and Nate Eggers. To get started, we will first ask, what is a shape memory alloy? It is a group of alloyed metals that can sustain large amounts of plastic deformation, and through heating, they return to their original shape. This technology was first discovered in 1932, but further research was not conducted until 1962. In order to better understand shape memory alloys, we need to look into the material science behind them. There are two phases that the alloys exist in, the stronger austenite and the weaker, more ductile martensite. Each phase is stable at different temperature ranges. Austenite is stable at higher temperatures when compared to martensite, which is stable at lower temperatures. The exact temperatures where the austenite and martinite exist vary between alloys. These alloys include copper zinc aluminum, copper aluminum nickel, and nickel titanium. In general, the martensite phase occurs at ambient temperatures. As you can see, the austenite phase exists at a body-centered cubic crystal structure, having only a single possible crystal orientation. The martensite phase, in contrast, exists as a parallelogram crystal structure, which can be 24 crystal orientations as required. There are two mechanisms that exist by which a shape memory alloy will transform between the austenite and martensite phases. The first is applied stress. When the temperature of an SMA is maintained such that it will exist in the austenite phase, and an external stress is applied to the material, above a certain stress the material will begin to exist in the martensite phase, although it will return to the austenite phase when the stress is removed if the temperature is maintained, even if the deformation due to the applied stress is beyond the elastic limit of the material. The second is by temperature change. Austenite is stable at a higher temperature than martensite. Therefore, by heating an alloy in the martensite phase above the transition temperature, it will take change to the austenite phase and vice versa. Now that we have gone through how SMAs work, we can see why we need to use them. We now need to look at how earthquakes affect structures. When the earthquake starts, the ground experiences acceleration. And since the foundation is constrained to the ground, it will also accelerate. But as we know from Newton's first law, the upper part of the structure prefers to stay in place due to inertia. As a result, the structure responds with strong vibrations and local stresses and strains. When this happens, the results can range from local failure to total structure failure. Some traditional non-SMA seismic design technologies include shear walls, shear bracing, moment-resistant frame connections, and energy-dissipating dampers. The use of SMAs benefits structures in seismic regions by being able to undergo extensive plastic deformation. The use of SMAs as reinforcement in concrete is preferred to the use of regular steel in seismic regions because of their ability to return to original shape after plastic deformation. This allows for deformation while minimizing permanent damage to structural integrity. SMAs are designed for safety against collapse, where the earthquake energy dissipation is provided through yielding of reinforcement and inelastic deformation, and thus they are able to change responses of structures under seismic loads. SMAs possess such beneficial properties as high strength, large energy hysteric behavior, full recovery of strains up to 8%, high resistance to corrosion and fatigue. All of these extend the lifetime and serviceability of a structure. Also the fact that they can be included in new structures and retrofitted to existing structures makes them strong contenders for use in earthquake resistant structures. Now we're going to look at the importance of shape memory alloys in coastal BC. SMAs have thermomechanical properties which include superelasticity, shape memory effect, and historic damping. These properties make it highly useful for structures in, located in areas prone to seismic activities. This includes British Columbia. South Korea 
which is also a very seismically active area in the world. SMAs are being used as part of preserving cultural heritage and historical sites. Using SMAs is less invasive than other preservation methods and is especially helpful with old masonry buildings. This method of reinforcement could be brought to the coastal region of BC and be useful in preserving heritage in this area as well. There will be four specific designs for SMA structures that we will discuss in depth. However, it should be noted that this material is widely used in other applications. These could also include SMA dampers for stay cable bridges, SMA spring isolation devices, or even an isolation device for elevated highway bridges. But for our presentation, we'll be discussing braces and frame structures, restrainer for simply supported bridges, bar column anchorage, and tendons in steel column beam connections. First, we look at its use in bracing in a frame structure. In this particular design, the SMA are installed diagonally as supporting material for the rest of the structure. The SMAs plastically give it the ability to change with the structure during cataclysmic events, but ideally stiffer for these circumstances because it is more desirable to have minimal displacement. The simple and versatile addition overall ensures structural stability, especially during seismic events where they allow the structure to elastically return to its original state post-event. Next is restrainer for simply supported bridges. Both super elastic and martensite SMAs can be used as damper elements for bridges. The figure represents the testing on a full-scale super elastic SMA bar used for seismic retrofit of simply support bridges and the simulation and analysis on multi-span, simply supported bridges with the SMA restrainer. The SMA restrainer more effectively reduced relative hinge displacement at the bottom abutment and it provided a large elastic deformation range in comparison with the conventional steel restrainer cables. In addition, the SMA restrainer extremely limits the response of a bridge deck to near field ground motion. Next is the SMA bar column anchorage. Connectors or connections in various structures are prone to damage during an earthquake event. SMA connectors have been designed to provide dampening and can tolerate relatively large deformations. It was proposed to obtain an exposed type column base with SMA anchorage for seismic resistance. The SMA anchorages are made out of nitinol SMA rods in 20 to 30 millimeter diameter and seal bars as shown in the figure. The results obtained from the pulsating tension load tests and numerical simulations of the SMA rods have shown that the SMA wires were very effective in dissipating energy and reducing the building's vibrations under severe seismic ground motion. When this was tested, it was observed that contrary to the accumulated residual strain of ordinary anchorages, the SMA anchorages can recover their original shape after cyclic loading, and therefore their resisting performance remains at the same to prevent plastic deformation and damage in the structural columns. Lastly is SMA tendons in steel column beam connections. Martensite SMA tendons were used as primary load transferring elements in the steel beam column connections as shown on the figure. Based on loading tests of the two full-scale SMA enhanced connections, it was concluded that connection exhibited stable and repeatable hysteresis for rotations up to 4%, and the SMA tendons was able to sustain up to 5% strain without permanent damage. In summary, SMAs display unique material properties. They are useful in seismic design of structures, reducing vibrations, eliminating slash reducing permanent strain, retrofit to existing structures, and non-invasive. 
They have several applications of technology in use and in testing. They are used in connections of non-SMA structural elements. They reduce energy transfer and they allow for recentering post-event. They also make SMAs solution to many seismic design problems.